Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking my video today and deciding to spend the next 10 minutes of your time watching me clean my master bedroom. This little vacuum that I'm going to pop up on the screen here is excellent for crumbs and dust and just, you know, little random things that you find. And I keep it on my work desk here because I sit here during the day, of course, because I work from home. And I eat here, I drink here, I work here, and I just get little crumbs of things on my desk from time to time. So instead of wiping the entire desk down, I keep this little vacuum here to just vacuum up the crumbs. Since the last video I made deep cleaning my master bedroom, I've been trying really hard to do this at least once a week. I don't always record it because I record other things, but I've been trying really hard to wipe everything down in my room and keep the dust out of here. Especially with having three dogs in the house now, it's especially challenging with my allergies. So I'm having to vacuum every single day. And then of course my little sanctuary here, I dust at least once a week with like a wet cloth just to keep all of the dust, dander, pet hair, whatnot out of my sinuses. Because my daughter is staying in my guest bedroom, I took my nail desk out of there to make some space for her and her stuff while she's here over the next month. So I've been polishing my nails a lot more frequently because my nail stuff is in my room. And I kind of realize when it's out of sight, out of mind, which is a shame because I have a lot of nail polish and I really love doing my nails. Now I'm not just polishing my nails, I'm doing nail art on them, which is a little bit more detailed. I'll pop some pictures up here so you can see an example, and I'll also link my nail art page down below. Have you guys ever heard of a scout bag? That's this bag that I just put up on my bed here. I got this particular one in Bermuda and I've never been able to find the design online, but I'll include a link to these bags in the description box below. If you're into shopping bags or just bags in general to carry stuff back and forth, these really and truly are fantastic bags. 10 out of 10 recommend. You cannot go wrong buying any size or shape of this bag.
Over the past two years, I've made a conscious effort to try and make my bed every single day, no matter what time of day it is. Sometimes it's noon, sometimes it's five o'clock when I'm getting off of work and I look over and realize, hey, my bed's not made yet. But I do try to make it every day and I do realize that the way I make my bed is not perfect and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just something I'm trying to do for myself so that my room looks a little bit more put together. Even when I have laundry all over the bench at the end of the bed, it still looks somewhat put together because my bed is made. A couple years ago, we tore out the original closet, I think, that probably came with this house and put in a closet made system. And I decided to invest in matching hangers. I did just my room first and then I did my granddaughter's room afterwards. But I do have to say, I really love these hangers. I love that they all match and I love that my clothes don't have those little marks from the plastic hangers that have the little doohickey that keeps your tank tops from falling off. The velvet on these hangers keeps your shirts from sliding off so you don't need those little doohickeys that make dents in your clothes. And I, I have to say, I've never had that issue even when I don't wear my clothes as often as I used to when I was working in an office every day. If you're looking to invest in some new hangers, I definitely recommend these velvet ones. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching my video today. I know you have lots of options and I'm truly grateful that you clicked on mine. If you liked this video, please hit like and if you really, really liked it, please hit subscribe and I will see you next week. Too much of emotion,